Have a good time. Turn it over to you guys. Congratulations to all you guys that worked uh, and didn't come to any talks. You know, that, that is the slogan for contests and events, not one talk, not ever, right? <laughs> So thank you for creating all the content that keeps people from going to something they can watch later on YouTube. And speaking of YouTube, uh, they're recording this, so this will eventually go online. So if you want to come up here and be in the YouTube video too, you can do that. Like really, we're off the rails completely here. Just do whatever the hell you guys want. All right, just so you guys have head up, the uh, main closing is at four, uh, Paris Ballroom, so the big giant over there, the rooms you didn't go to again, um, and that's where the black badges will be awarded. So I already thank you. Yes, the that is also where the raffle will take place. <laughs> All right, um, and then uh, big thanks to our contest and events goons. You may have seen them sitting on their asses uh, mm -hmm. in the couches in the center of the contest area. It's a hard job, um, the hardest of all the goon jobs, I think. Um, so thanks, guys. They really held those couches right to the ground. I mean, without them there, they would have floated up to the ceiling and just danger. Um, all right, so let's get this kicked off with the beverage cooling contraption contest. If you're in here, here's how this is gonna roll. You get two minutes, talk about really quick what your contest was, what people had to do, and then who won. Is there anybody from beverage cooling? This is and going to be a dumpster fire. I <laughs> And apparently y'all didn't hear Grifter say, Wait. Get in wait. a line. Are you coming you to get a selfie or are you with the beverage cooling? Okay. Are you going to come and get beverage cooling and selfies? Answer the question about the selfie. He doesn't do selfies. So if y'all could actually physically remove yourself from the seat and start lining up as we go alphabetically so Grifter doesn't have to watch you climb out of the seat. Oh, he's taking a picture. Okay. So to uh, start this dumpster It's alphabetical. Fire off, I'm beverage chilling. I'm first because we're a dumpster fire. It's fine. So uh, this year, this year, we had what four four teams? Four teams? It sucks. Come on, guys. We need more teams. Seriously. And it's we a free beer. An after party, and it's free beer. If you compete, you go to our after party. Come on, it's easy. Anyway, so we had four teams. One team brought a contraption for unlimited. It did not go well, but that's fine. We had three hack teams, and over here, no, nope, oh, there he is. We have Team Hebrew, our first place. They got the target temperature of 44 degrees in 1.5 minutes, which is okay. Congratulations. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> So going forward, I would like to see more people there. We're going to continue to fight to get to the good better places. Can we go in the, the, the smoking area by the Paris, you know, when you're walking out there next time? Like just you and me after this or? <laughs> yeah. No selfies. Yeah, for absolutely. All right. Let's go. <laughs> you're a handsome man. I meant for like next year. Thank you. You are too. Ne next year? For, for All right. I was kind of hoping today. But. All right. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, I'll let them continue on the next contest. I think I've wasted my two minutes. So, All right. congratulations, Team Hebrew. Everybody, so, once again. Yeah. All right. So, real, real quick, if you are winners, you can come up here on stage. As they announce you, we'd like y'all to come back this way. We'll get a little bit more information from you, and then you can go drink and party and. All right. So, just so you know, if you are the, uh, a first place team, like we don't have a lot of black badges, right? So. Um, you, you get a, a human badge, that's it. I mean, it's more than nothing, right? So um, if you're part of the first place team, then just roll down there and talk to these guys and they'll uh, take your information so next year you can pick it up at Reg for free. All right. Oh, here they come. That's gorgeous. Look at some semi-alphabetical. Hi. So we're the Biohacking Village. Um, this year we had uh, a really crazy setup. We had a fully immersive hospital setup that was part of our capture the flag. So you would go into these different hospital rooms, look for things. Super fun. Uh, we had uh, a bunch of people come through. Anybody want to guess how many people we had come through just the CTF area? 
Three. <laughs> the correct answer is over 9,000. I'm disappointed in you all. We had over 9,000 people come through that environment. A bunch of them played the CTF. I'll hand it over to Fotis to tell you about uh, who played the CTF and how they did. Yes, uh, so we had uh, like over 40 teams. Uh, small zone was one player. Uh, biggest one was uh, eight team members. We had uh, many challenges, uh, including emulated medical devices, you know, hacking healthcare protocols. The idea was that the hospital is under um, a cyber attack and you're leading an IT security team to make sure, you know, uh, you remediate everything by, by also showcasing some of the offensive uh, techniques uh, against some, you know, targets. So uh, the winner is uh, Murph Law. Um, is anyone from their team here? to get the prize. I hope there is. Otherwise, you'll have to claim it afterwards. You can just stick them back here and the goons will divvy them up at the end. Okay. We'll just take them all with us. <laughs> yeah. Anybody who doesn't show up for this will we'll raffle it off at the end. <laughs> <laughs> just use the same ticket you already have. Yeah. <clears throat> so. All right. Yeah. Cool. 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 Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, crack me if you can. That's you. Hi, everyone. Uh, I, I'm Minga with CoreLogic. I uh, started Crack Me If You Can. Uh, it's our ninth year, so it's the password cracking contest. So, it's, so yeah, it's our ninth year. This year's theme was uh, change your password, and it was kind of <laughs> based off of uh, NIST coming out and telling people not to change the password, which is. Uh, uh, not my preferred opinion. And so the main thing we did this year was we gave the teams historical passwords of individual users. You know, oh, here's their old password and you have to guess their new password. And when humans change their password, they do it in a, you know, they don't make it completely random, they do things due to human nature. Uh, but the, the main thing we did that was mean was we used S-Crypt for the new hashes. And we uh, booped, we, we, uh, we made the amount of loops be uh, an amount that's higher than normal but still has, fits the standard and oh by the way it's not supported by Hashcat out of box and so they have to fix their code and everything along those lines. Uh, and so, uh, so that was the, you, you know, that's the, that's the gist of the contest. The teams have 48 hours, they go non-stop, the teams are have bi however big as they want. Uh, well back to the s so that's about 200 tries a second per GPU card. Uh, so it's really, really slow. Um, so uh, just real quick if I can rant for 10 seconds. Uh, you know, everyone does password cracking. You know, we all do it whether they're part of our job, things like that. So like, but it's just not sexy anymore. The community is shrinking, so like I really would like to have more people come in and join it in. Ten we seconds is up. Get off. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, so teams will do write-ups. Teams will share their code. They'll push out Hashcat, John fixes, and everything like that. They'll publish write-ups. And since it's the ninth year, you can go back and read their write-ups over the past nine years and learn how to be a better password cracker and things along those lines. So look out for those here soon. Uh, we have a pro in the street. The pro teams, Team Hashcat, they won in the last 10 minutes, last 15 minutes of the contest. So they were going back and back and forth. And the street team is Hash Crafts Men. Uh, so anyways, thanks a lot. See you next year. All right, creative writing. They're anyone? Probably not anyone? Here. Anyone? They're probably not here? It's online and they actually it's, finish it's it online. before DEF CON starts. They finish starts. even before DEF CON starts. Are you going to repeat There's everything I say? damn tryhards. Um, so. Beard mustache. Watch out. <laughs> Incoming Heidi. We grow this for a year. <laughs> so, so Brian emails me like 15 minutes ago and says, "Heidi, I'm short. I'm on my tiptoes. Thank you. Um, I haven't seen any information about the winners of the beard contest, and my reaction was, "Oh shit, I was drunk. I don't know." <laughs> so I madly texted all the other judges, who then texted me back and said, "Also, oh shit, I don't remember." So doing the best we could. Through mad texts, <laughs> we think <laughs> that the winner. <laughs> are you gonna? What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. Okay. You're doing great. <laughs> I said, please come up here with me. I hate microphones. And then he laughed at me. Um, 
the winner of the beard contest, whose name I can't remember, but we'll just call him hot the hot Santa, Santa guy. Right that wasn't his real handle. We gave it to him. Oh, okay. He was definitely so a hot Santa. Out, he will be hot Santa guy. Um, the winner of, oh my God, the, the winner of the freestyle contest was it's, a it's dog. It's right there in front of you. Shut up, I know. <laughs> Because I, I just tested nervous. it back just a minute ago. It was Brimley. Brimley the dog won the freestyle contest. Like radio dude too. He had like oh. voice and everything. Yeah. And that's so much easier to read. The winner of the stash contest was Hazmat. Now, here's the thing with the beard contest. I know when you guys do your black badge decisions, you take into account how much time the contestants spend mm. preparing and playing. Where this is going. Yeah. yeah, so some yeah. of these guys, 15 years. Wow. Just saying. Consider it for next year. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> we, we had one real neck beard, and it was like six years in the making, and it was about this long, and it was actually pretty impressive that he had cultivated. He could barely grow any facial hair, but he knew he wanted to be a neck beard, and he really pulled it off. It was awesome. <laughs> um, and oh, also oh, we raised... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, sorry. Okay, fine. Take my thunder. Well, I, um, the real big deal at the beard contest is that the beard only matters about 50% of it. It's a bunch of bribes, see liquor, and money for the EFF. And this year we raised $2,174, which was a beard contest record. All right, Def Con bike ride. Hey, come on back up. <laughs> Hi, we're back. Don't don't pay attention to us. We're... Wait, 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 wait. Can I can I do this too? Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, every year for. Nine. Nine years. Thank you. I can't see that, so it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> we have taken anywhere from, I think the first year was like 20 to 50 hackers out into the desert doing a bike ride very early on Friday morning. You should all come with us. Um, yeah, and it's actually a giant misunderstanding. Uh, me and JP, um, uh, uh, one of the organizers, a couple, uh, 10 years ago, uh, he said what I thought was we should do a ride to DEF CON. And so we trained for two years and we biked cross country and came to DEF CON uh, when it was at the Rio. Um, and what he'd actually said was we should do a ride at DEF CON, uh, which is slightly different. Uh, <laughs> A little less planning involved, but uh, he was a trooper and we rode cross country a few years ago. Uh, but actually, we continue to do this bike ride. Uh, if you're interested, it's uh, 23 miles. Uh, we get out there about 6.30 in the morning. You're back in time for the tracks on Friday morning. It's awesome. Uh, to date, no one's died. So you we're super happy name. about that. If you want to you know, hit that record first, let us know. No, uh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, but yeah. you will curse our name all the way out, but I promise you, you'll be smiling right back all the fun, way back so. in. It's super fun. Also, there's no contest, right? It was all just like, you know, participation trophies. So, good job, everybody. Then no badge. Yeah, uh, in a little bit. It's not, I'm, I'm hard at the alphabet, so we'll see. All right, uh, DEF CON ham radio, Fox Hunt. No. Scav hunt. <laughs> yeah, we need music. I don't have music. All right. Um, hi, I'm oh. Evil Mofo, and uh, these are some of my fellow judges. Uh, we are more scavenger than human. Um, if you may have noticed, we are the best way to experience DEF CON. No. If you haven't noticed, we're sorry, we're going to try harder next year. <laughs> um, so it's important to note, this year's third place team played for nine hours, they got the list at 2 a.m. last night, they had to catch a plane at 11 this morning, and that was most spankable butts. In second place, we had UDOD Forever. Woo! UDOD Forever. And first, PBS loves the BBC. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. You are very welcome for the amazing music, including the conga line that closed the contest area. They, they can come get their stuff. Oh, yeah. Come yeah. on. Come Why get aren't your you crap. You, get up. It's, you know how that's how this works. works. You know how this works. Storm the stage already. Okay. Instructions are While hard. we wait for them, what kind of stuff did they have to do? Uh, 
do you want to show an example? Do you not know? Do I need to do I need to put a trigger warning on this? Uh, trigger uh, warning. Okay. Trigger warning. Um, every year, every year we have uh, Everybody comes up and asks, hey, what's the most be uh, amazing thing? And uh, this team turned in a Sh uh, Sean Young blow-up doll that was sloppy seconds from last year that they tested a Black & Decker record rectal checker on and they posted the video to Pornhub for four items. Stuff like that. Wait, I thought we were giving that to DT. Oh yeah, also, you may have noticed we had a pre-con list. <laughs> may I, may I introduce DT? You didn't know this. Deep fake of DT. No, no. <laughs> oh, no. Hello, Def Con. I'm excited that we're wrapping up this contest. It's only been 27 long fucking years of my life. <laughs> you know, I, I started this contest intending to have fun, and now it's just wearing oh, on puberty's me. Puberty's a bitch, is huh? too fucking much. You know, they're, they're Caesar, fucking Caesar's Palace is up my ass every time. I, when you, what do you fuckers do something ludicrous? And then, and then the attendees, there's no grace with you either. You just can't quit, quit <laughs> stop your bitching at me for every fucking thing that goes wrong. You know, we used to, wow. we used to be able how, to have this contest how much in one, material do you in have? one hotel. <laughs> in one hotel. And now we have to walk. Yeah. It used to be four minutes Jesus. for a edge. And now it's four fucking miles. I can't handle it anymore. You fuckers are so ungracious. We're canceling it. It's done. DEF CON is over. Yay. Oh. Yay. All right. <laughs> And we're walking. And, and you're we're walking. walking. And you're walking. And Make sure walking. they stop over there. Ooh, holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> you asked us up here. That was your first mistake. <laughs> All right, D20. Good luck following that. <laughs> Hello. So we ran the D20 CTF again this year. Um, Slightly different rules, but uh, same hot dog costume wearing maniac smashing things with a sledgehammer. Um, we ran into some logistical issues that, uh, among various things, resulted in us not having a sledgehammer or a 20 sided die the day before the competition. Um, uh, you get those at Walmart. We, we made it work. We made it work. But. Um, There's an app. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's sledgehammer. Walmart is a beautiful thing. Um, I mean, right? yeah, but so we figured it out though, we made it happen and I want to first uh, congratulate our winners. So in third place with, uh, you guys can read it. So Big Hojo on <laughs> in third place, uh, Red Hat August in second place and Magnum in first place. So some notable and awesome things. Uh, Magnum solved three of the highest point challenges uh, in the first 20 minutes of the competition, which is fucking amazing. Jeez. Um, we saw very serious entries this year. Uh, last year we didn't really have anyone that uh, put together a hardened machine, physically hardened machine. But this year we had multiple competitors. So I want to give a shout out to Aspen Scythe uh, for having a, an awesome uh, sort of uh, acrylic and wood case around an all-in-one machine. And Red Hat August had a fantastic entry that was a Raspberry Pi encased in a solid block of resin which was then suspended what? by springs inside a welded metal cage. <laughs> and if and you're wondering still which machine survived four rounds of damage yes. including tr two, two smashes with a sledgehammer, that's the one. <laughs> It was good. We're going to have to come up with some more destruction methods for next year. Um, apparently it was tested in a bathtub, so there was that. Um, so we need, to bring, uh, uh, we need to bring our A game next year, I think. Um, so uh, congratulations to Magnum. Magnum, are you here? You get nothing. That seems like a no Red Hat August? Also nothing. Well, uh, Bake Hojo. Nothing again. <laughs> All right, so. Um, I do, I do want to ask, like, you guys, 
collaborated though as well with another group this uh, this conference, didn't you? Yes, sort of. Again, the logistical issues prevented <laughs> us from doing a lot of stuff that we wanted to. Uh, but yes, we collaborated with the Car Hack Village um, and they did a bunch of destruction stuff in a very D20 way with their uh, uh, grand prize Tesla. Um, yeah. And we did manage to get our Tesla gun to them to Tesla the Tesla. So that, that's a win. A small win but a win. Um, get so your shit together, man. I, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. I'm not even arguing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, thank you to everyone who played and we definitely will be coming back next year. Also, um, in case you didn't know, we do offer a prize uh, for winning the D20 CTF which is that you get to be the hot dog costume wearing maniac that destroys computers the next year. Um, so That's pretty good. good. That's a good prize. That's a good prize. Thank you everybody. Dungeons at DEF CON. Are you, are you here? No. Uh, oh, that's right. Wait, these are black badge. Well, then keep going. Well, hold up. I just noticed the, wh what the hell was going on on that screen when, when DT was up here talking? Was it really? Oh. Damn. Written record. Talk a runway. Mm -hmm. Why doesn't it say Hacker Runway up there? So you got everything the sock puppet said. <laughs> <laughs> but I speak and I feel slighted. That also, no. Uh -huh. Hack Fortress. Hi. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. <laughs> These guys. These guys. Don't you guys do enough? Do anything This is the last else? one, I promise, because I'm sick of grifter shit. Um, <laughs> so if, first of all, if uh, Team Big Doge is here, anybody from them, come on up. Um, probably not, but what the fuck. So um, uh, we run Hack Fortress. We've been doing this for seven or eight years. Uh, we, at ShmooCon, we, we used to do this thing called Hacker Halo. A bunch of hackers had a, a bunch of hacking contests, and people just blew each other up on Halo. And then we combined scores, and the best score won. Uh, one year at DEF CON, uh, I decided to do a clandestine LAN party in my track room before my talk on Sunday morning. Uh, so a bunch of randos and I got together and did Team Fortress 2 at 9 a.m. on Sunday, which meant there was two of us. Uh, <laughs> So really, actually we had a good audience. What was interesting, there's a large number of people watching me and another dude like blow each other up on Team Fortress 2 and I'm like, hmm, this seems like there might be something here. So we ended up taking out Halo and drop in Team Fortress with a source engine which allows us to in real time manipulate what's going on in the game. So then we hook up the hacking competition so the hackers when they reach objectives can do things like redeem points to set the other Team Fortress team uh, two on, on fire and things like that. So very interactive uh, uh, game. We designed it as like a spectator thing, crowd around, we got scoreboards, we stream it on Twitch, the whole deal. Um, and this year, Team Big Doge won. This is their third in a row. They won DEF CON last year, ShmooCon, and then DEF CON again. So uh, they get the giant iron wrench that they have to somehow take home through the airport, which costs them a lot of money because it puts their bag over 50 pounds. So anyway. Tell them uh, about, about the blue team guy. Oh, one of the, uh, one of the challenges uh, in the final one was social engineering um, and uh, they had to uh, find the alien through an Area 51 uh, Naruto run rush. Um, and then uh, once you got to the alien, you had to pitch them as if they were a foreign VC investor uh, for whatever logo was on your shirt. So we had a guy running around the conference area chasing her in her alien uh, outfit um, and then sat there and pitched black hat because that was the hoodie yeah. he wore oh, no. um, and had such zingers such as things escalate quickly at black hat because they have three escalators. Um, and, I've, and I've never seen an alien with glasses. That's quite a spectacle. So. Um, we gave him a challenge coin because he basically punned his way through a venture pitch. Also, if you're a VC, I would talk to that guy because he's pretty fucking smart, as it turns out. So, anyway, thank you very much. Homebrew hardware. Anyone? <laughs> oh. I just thought you Sneak were. Sneak it in the back door. Attacking us. No, yeah, we tried to. Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm LP. I run the homebrew hardware contest. Um, generally, the basic premise is people make a ton of cool shit, and we wanted to give a space to show it off, so we did. Um, this was our first year. 
we had a pretty good time. Um, if, if anyone else is out in the audience, like third or second place, come on up here. Um, but third place went to Ian Tabor for his SL Can car hacking device. It was pretty wicked. Uh, second place went to Ben Hammer's Wrath. He 3D printed this pretty awesome rave mask thing that kind of looks like a bird. Um, and first place went to Gretchen from Gender Hackers for their SNES cartridge badge, which is like a whole SNES game and a badge at once. Um, I just want to do a shout out. Thank you to Contest and Events for picking us. That's really cool. Um, the judges, El Cantaro, Sec Barbie, and Zaz. And then Highways, um, he like pulls everyone into everything and I had a tiny idea and I feel like he made it happen and dragged me the whole way and that's badass. Sorry you can't be here, dude, love you. I also love Highways. <laughs> Hold on. Just wanted to say um, a month ago, I had no idea how to make a game, make a PCB or do anything and I ended up winning a contest a month later. So just jump into stuff and have fun and just do it. That was like a verbal bitch slap to all of you. Like, <laughs> like it was like, oh, uh, did you try hard at this? I learned a month ago and I won. <laughs> All right, maps of the digital lands. Yay. Yeah. Oh wow, that's bright. Hey there, uh, my name's Teal. We've got, uh, we, we did the maps of the digital land. Uh, what we did was we allowed people to draw maps of scenarios that represented different business cases. Um, we, we had a lot of interesting uh, submissions, uh, a lot of people who really knew their networking stuff, and, uh, and we kept hearing that there wasn't enough networking, network engineering stuff going on at DEF CON, so it sounds like we filled a void. Um, and we even had a little thing where you could submit drawings if they weren't network diagrams, and we had a nice little collection going on that. Um, I'm gonna let John continue from that. So we're just gonna go off the uh, winners. We got one through First place, actually let's go with third place, is Nomad 69. Is he just getting a drink? Yeah, and, and is Nomad 69 up in the building? No, yeah, in the yeah, auditorium? We've got a bunch of uh, <laughs> four locos. Four loco, baby. <laughs> if you're not here, we'll just pass them down this way. Alright, second oh, place no. is Coloc. Love you. Hi. Right. Coloc 73. No, no. First place. Did I say and, then, and then our what, first what place. His mom said he's not here. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I know. I drove him home. <laughs> Who's first place, man? Brute. Uh, Brute's the winner. That's him. And uh, Brute first place. That's Brute. Same dude. Yeah, this slide's a little weird. Like, yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. This, this slide's a little uh, off. Mike Mike D was actually our third place winner. Oh. Yeah, uh, yeah. He's over in the DefCon. Oh, no. Um, and then Nomad underscore. I don't know where the 69 came from. <laughs> Um, that was in the email. I don't know. That was their score. You guys oh, have been drinking. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't a spreadsheet or anything. It was just words. I mean, it's, it's Vegas. It, it came directly out of the email. They've been drinking a lot of Four Loco. <laughs> right? I want to say. Score. It's just in his autocorrect. It's oh, uh, this one is too, then. Yeah. Oh, shit. Right. oh, what'd you do? Whoa. Right, there we whoa, go. Whoa, there whoa. we go. Yeah, so that's about it. All right, well, I fucked um, it up. We Fine. got the trophy for first place. Um, I'll we'll give it to Brute, I guess, when I see him, because he's local, too, I believe. So yeah. I'll see him at a meetup or hey, something. We're gonna get, let's get a selfie. Hey, 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 let's, let's get, get a selfie. selfie. You guys he wants to go drink. He's got loco. You guys yeah, you want four locos? locos? No, 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 I'm good. No? No, no. Let's put him up for I'm, I'm good. Oh, am I getting here? Yeah, you're Don't get in the juice, man. Don't get in the picture. Hey, uh, come over to the other side. Hey, yeah. I'm too black? No, you're over on the side. There you go. I All guess right. I need more light. Sure. I'll relax some. There you go. Hey, thanks. Oh, my God. I'm too Open black. CTF. I guess I need more light. Oh, man. It's an invasion. Oh, you're going to keep typing that if I keep saying it, huh? I'm Not problem, Fury here. Come on up. <laughs> All right, then. 
OpenCTF is DEF CON's approachable CTF, designed to be played throughout the con and introduce new players to the game with no pre qualification required. Sure. Now under new management, Van passed the torch to longtime players and previous winners Neg9 as the new contest organizers this year. <laughs> 570 users competed on 229 teams over 54 problems that ranged from cryptography to recon, ponables to reverse engineering, we even gave out hardware and a chip that had multiple challenges on board. While many challenges were intended to be easy, we also had a few problems we believe were as hard as the problems in the DEF CON CTF. The fight for the top 10 was intense, changing with second and third place teams changing position less than 45 minutes before the close. But in the end of the day, one team emerged as clear winners. Without further ado, in third place with 2,040 2 points is IE6. In second place, open to all had 2,152 points. And the winners yeah, of Open guy. CTF at DEF CON 27 <laughs> are not problem with 2,936 points. Please come to the front to claim your prize if you're here. <laughs> Thanks everybody for playing and remember, try harder. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> All right, sure. With a box? Yeah, with a box. Oh. Good Get in Lord. There. Yeah. You want a box that, of that's shirts? what that wall is for, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Do anything bad to you? No, I was good. What about good. the bacon? Know, yeah, that one's also. Yeah. Bacon was good. The bacon, yeah, but the bacon was raw. Yeah, you, you didn't have no, any. I didn't <laughs> eat the bacon. No. All right. Uh, oh, since CTF. Now you come up here. You have to ignore these guys. They're taking a selfie. You just get up and do it. <laughs> All right. Hello everyone, we are Trace Labs. We did the missing person CTF using OSINT all day yesterday. So we had about over 200 contestants across 50 teams gathering some very valuable intelligence on real missing people. Um, there was one clear winner throughout the whole day. Um, Team Wookiees, they showed up right at 10 a.m. to start. They went the whole day, almost no breaks. Um, so congratulations to Team Wookiees on taking that away. Um, we had about over 2,000 unique intelligence submissions throughout the day. Team Wookiees accounted for about 150 of these, which was fantastic, and that's why they were the clear winner. And they will be getting access to offensive security pen testing with Cali vouchers and Hunchly licenses as well. So congratulations, congratulations to you guys if you're around here. Um, take a picture. Yeah, let's take a picture. <laughs> sure, we'll do a selfie. Take selfies with my Canadian friends. <laughs> Great job, guys. Thanks. Go that way. Yeah, make sure you. All right, Recon Village CTF. If anybody wants to add anything to the transcription, uh, when we're done, you can come up and say some stuff, make them type weird things. Type something that I don't say. Type whatever you want to say, whoever's transcribing that. <laughs> My dog. All right. Thanks, buddy. Hey, guys. We were doing a recon village CTF, which was focused around open source intelligence and finding information around assets and people. We had a winner, which was a clear winner from the very starting, but they have been competing from last three years, and they were doing bang on. So I would like to call the first winner, Neutrino Cannon, on the stage. Oh, don't do that. No, 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 no. Yes, sir. Here is your recon village trophy. And right. a bottle of tequila, which you can show off. Jeez, yeah. get that home. Yeah, that, that'll be fun to take through TSA. I swear it's under three yeah. ounces. Sure it's <laughs> or it's about to be. Uh. All right, can we have the second one? Uh, 
second place, cult of the quantum cow. Oh, the globe. The globe. The globe. All right, you His just. balls dropped, everybody. Yay. <laughs> Yay. So this is the cool trophy, which I would like to oh, save from the drifter. I don't know. Does Do everything you give away have alcohol in it? <laughs> oh, sweet. All right, thank you very much. Sweet. They're very like, we're in America. This is what you give us. <laughs> yeah. America. That's right. <laughs> so I told you he's the one with the hat. Yeah. I mean, a, a gun full of alcohol and a, a hat, a cowboy hat full of alcohol. You're from Texas. You got to be sporting super wood right I'm now. I'm so jealous right now. <laughs> Red alert, ICS, CTF. Hello. Uh, second year this year for us. So uh, if you happen to walk around and you see uh, some smart city lights are blinking with a, with a freaking crane and some other stuff there, then that's us. So uh, this year uh, we had about, similar to last year, about 30 teams and uh, the first three plays are here. Third place is Modbus. He had uh, 1,460 points. Hex Wells, uh, 1,009. And CTFSG is 3,006. So they played really hard. Uh, we also had, uh, I mean one of the highlights which we can bring is uh, there was a lock picking challenge. Uh, different from the lock picking village, they had to lock pick with uh, paper clips. So, <laughs> so CTFSG actually picked that. So uh, probably uh, our second place, Hex Wells, are you around? Anyone? No? You're here? Where? Come over. <laughs> Come over. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, I'll just leave it to them to describe the CTF. This, the, the first three plays, they have been playing for all three days straight, from morning at 10 until 6 p.m. So yeah. Second place. We had a lot of fun. Uh, we hacked some Bluetooth. We chugged some beers. We stole some password hashes. What else did we do? We and that was just that breakfast house? downstairs, right? We blacked out the city. We moved the crane. Uh, we had a great time. Thank you guys for the CTF. Thank you. Thank you. Next, uh, I'll get the first place, CTF SG. Yeah. It's a very large group. Yeah. That's a lot of tequila and shotguns. <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, it, was, uh, it was pretty fun. Uh, I think one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, so many of us uh, played since uh, the first day. I think uh, some of us didn't even attend any talks. Uh, so, uh, but it was a great experience. Um, managed to turn off the city, managed to um, remotely trigger some hydraulics to flush waters, you know, and lock picks. So I think it's pretty fun. And uh, some of us are actually here first time at DEF CON. So cool. many of us are coming back next year to play the CTS again. Yeah. Thank you. Hopefully they play our CTF again because last year's the first place is also uh, the same team. I mean, not the same people, but the same team. All right, so hopelessly broken. Ah. Yeah. They're taking selfies, Heisenberg. Give them a ah. break, all right? We told them they could do whatever they want. <laughs> Don't go back on it now. See, we're going to take a picture. I, I dare you to say something. I freaking dare you. Thank you. 
One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you. All right, that's all you. Oh, it's all me. <laughs> These lights are a lot brighter than the closing ceremonies. All right, um, wait, where's the team that won? Uh, get on the stage. Come on, come on, come on, come on. They're going to yell at me any like second now. Okay, so, oh yeah, so Soapsly Broken CTF. Uh, this year was really crazy. We had over 200 teams registered to play. Uh, it's like teams two to four people. Uh, this team's a quite lot larger. Uh, so that was like, you know, anywhere from like 600 to 1,000 people. I don't know, I wasn't counting. But, so let's see here. This is our first place team. It was really impressive because they somehow got um, one extra point. Uh, normally all our scores are round numbers. <laughs> um, so I want to give a call out to everyone that participated because we decided to give like little gifts to the first top five teams because there were so many players. Uh, so in fifth uh, we had Team Red. Uh, then we had in fourth uh, Five Dimensions. And then a uh, personal favorite uh, name, uh, 418, I'm a teapot. Pretty good for IoT related stuff. Good job, them. <laughs> then Flatboard Man, pretty good. <laughs> and without further delay, this team behind me, 6th Gen, they did a great job. Uh, it's amazing because they pretty much had almost every single device. Uh, one of the devices was so finicky that we decided to smash it with a crowbar. So I guess that's out of the contest forever now. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else cool. Oh, the rest of my staff is packing up all the devices. We had like f over 50 boxes, so they're not with me. But the team from last year that won uh, first place is here. We've been working a lot with them to collaborate uh, from here to Canada. They've been operating IoT Village in Canada and working on our CT and we've been collaborating on research. So it's really, really cool. So I'm happy that they came out and did a workshop with us. So thank you for everyone that has made uh, the Solipsally Broken CTF awesome and I hope you come back and play next year. All right. Selfies? 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 <laughs> guys who aren't in the slides. <clears throat> Hey guys, uh, my name is Jeff. I go by Morphere. Uh, I represent Tamper Evident Village. If you had to stop by, uh, you probably saw me talking about some seals. Uh, so I'm here today to announce the Counterfeit Badge Contest uh, along with the King of the Hill winners. Uh, so if we're going to start with the Counterfeit Badge Contest. So, Gory and Gulo uh, coming in in first place. You may have heard about this mythical badge. Uh, it's pungent. Uh, you smell it before you see it. Um, it was fished out of a strip club. I'll let them take it away. But coming in first place at 24 out of 30 points uh, with their counterfeit urinal cake badge. Yeah. Everyone should ask Grifter how it tastes later. It was delicious. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I knew what it was. I still wanted to taste it. <laughs> how many of you have tasted a urinal cake? Right? You don't go fishing them out of there and taste it. <laughs> I like to experience new things. Call me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Gary and I started our spirit journey Friday nights asking for any assistance from anyone on God, our spirit journey. Thing over here. And yeah. no one decided Jesus. to help. We were on the search for the great rare Las Vegas P.O.T. Does anyone know how hard it actually is to find a urinal cake in Las Vegas? <laughs> we were banned from several strip clubs, bars, dive bars, casinos, CVS's, Walgreens, and Albertsons because no one appeared to like nitrile gloves and saran wrap. Really pissing off a few strip club bouncers <laughs> before we met the fun. universe. <laughs> And then we acquired the POD. <laughs> as our um, unlikely heroes, or as before the sun came up, our unlikely heroes discovered, finally discovered the, the booty they so desired. <laughs> no. Does anyone have a Dremel? Woo! Um. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, we, can, we can smell it from here, the smell, smell of the it. urinal cake. It's bad. 
Uh, coming in second place was Molly. Uh, she left this morning on an airplane. Uh, counterfeit badge, actually really good. Uh, marble on the front. It passed six goons with full inspection. None of them were the wiser. Feels bad. Um, and lastly was, uh, so with the black badge, uh, we typically put them in a separate category because these guys go crazy. Uh, so we got two different categories of entry, the current year's badge and former year's badge. And the black badge that these guys replicated was so identical to the actual black badge of last year uh, that if anybody here knows M and Charlie over in the Tamper Village, it fooled both of them. Uh, and that's a real impressive feat. So I'm going to have them tell you a little bit about the badge here. So uh, we won the So Hopelessly Broken last year and, and we were awarded one badge for the three of us and so coming to DEF CON we thought that just wasn't going wasn't to be you know, realistic. We needed to have all three. So uh, we spent the time. We've never done any PCB work before. We uh, spent hours with micrometers measuring every little piece, testing every little component to, to, to get the traces right, um, trying to figure out what the heck that vacuum tube was because we've never had used vacuum tubes before. Um, finally, the week before DEF CON, we got the third iteration of our, of our PCB ship from PCB Way. And the black was close, but not exactly perfect to the, to the, the real black badge. But we said it's a week to DEF CON, we have to assemble it anyway. Uh, we ordered some pizza while we were assembling. Our hands were a little greasy. It turns out the pizza grease actually helped convert that black to a, just the perfect black to match the, the real black badge. <laughs> yeah. Legit. Thank you. Selfie. So I've got a review channel. Grifter, you cut us off. Also not appearing in these slides. Hey guys, Gator from DC Darknet. How's everybody doing today? <laughs> All right. So we got a few agents out there. That's awesome. So, if you guys haven't heard about DC Darknet, it's a real life MMORPG. We send you across all of DEF CON to be able to go through and learn stuff from real people and, and real experts in their field. Come back and you level up. So the awesome part is that we are able to get together with 10 different villages this year and send you from all the way over at the uh, Planet Hollywood all the way to Flamingo. So, without further ado, Mantle is going to talk about who first and second and third place is. Cool. So once again, we had another great year. Uh, we grew once again. We had hundreds of returning players and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of new players. Uh, as they came to our table in the contest area, they got to experience a wonderful fragrance from these lovely gentlemen as they were working on their badge at our table. Um, but it, it turned out to another great year. Uh, our players successfully shut down the March Hare and disconnected it from Cyberes, moving our story forward once again and, and carrying that forward. Uh, we had an interesting uh, event in our standings this year where our third place wasn't present at DEF CON at all. So congratulations, Dax. That is amazing. Second place was McLovin. Stand up. Stand up, dude. And Sage Fault is Sage Fault here. Well, Sage Fault got first place. So since you guys were so kind as to give Sage Fault a DEF CON or a DEF CON entry badge next year, we're gonna give second and third place badges. So Dax, when you watch this, that means you have to get your ass here next year. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. We'll see you guys next time. Now source code review source. challenge. First time speaker, I'm looking forward to taking care of this uh, tradition here. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, yeah, so I uh, can't be confirmed or denied since the judges were so drunk. My name's Hot Santa. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so I'm uh, Nas. I'm with the AppSec Village. Uh, we had uh, a couple contests. Uh, and one was the Secure Code Review Challenge. Uh, team built an application that uh, took data from NVD and about CVEs uh, and produced questions uh, with uh, actual get commits from confirmed vulnerabilities. Uh, so we had, uh, we had 80 people sign up to, uh, to join the contest. We had about half participate. Um, we had uh, a total of uh, over 4,000 questions were asked, uh, and uh, and so we had three winners. We have Astro, Li Wei Lu, and Iserna. Uh, if you guys are here, you want to come up? Thanks, guys. All right. Thanks. Threat modeling challenge. What just happened over there? 
You guys do your thing. You're fine. Threat modeling? No. Yeah, he's right behind you. Where? <laughs> Go! Son of a bitch. Hot Santa again? Yeah, Hot yeah. Santa. Hot Santa. Hot Santa. <laughs> hot Santa. It's actually the same Nick, but it's all right. Uh, yeah, so uh, other challenge we had was a threat modeling challenge. Uh, so uh, we, we basically put together a vulnerable design uh, for a fake company for uh, basically it was food ordering. We had a kiosk. We had a printer. Uh, there was some back-end services. Uh, we had uh, about 60 people sign up, 45 teams, uh, some, and uh, we basically went through, reviewed the threat models, trying to find um, uh, threat identification, you know, so a high number of threats that were identified that were actionable uh, and, and well documented for, the, for a dev team. Uh, and so we had uh, two winners. Uh, we had, uh, this was a team based, one to three uh, team members. Uh, so first place was uh, Shauner. Uh, if you want to come up, and uh, and then we had uh, second place uh, was uh, Team Biosec. Uh, it was uh, Jolene Dickey, and I'm not going to pronounce it A O X T C. So, thanks. You drop stuff. You drop it. I've got Hot Santa's hotel room key. <laughs> <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> You want to stick around? You might be the next contest too, who knows? <laughs> no, you're not. All right. Uh, Goldbug. That's not alphabetical at all. Use the. <laughs> yeah, I guess the. Use the. I fail. It's super bright up here. Uh, we're the Goldbug Puzzle. We're part of the Crypto Privacy Village. It's a crypt cryptography based puzzle hunt if you're familiar with the concept of puzzle hunts and it's the fourth year that we did the contest. Um, we also have a ton of puzzles for junior cryptographers, uh, noobs or kids who want to come by and that, that have a lot of success this year. Um, do you want to talk about how many people entered? And yeah, so this year we had a really good show out. We had 275 teams register. So those are people that we convinced to connect to the Wi-Fi because the BBS isn't very mobile friendly right now to do for next year. Uh, with those 275 teams we had 2,303 wrong answers submitted and 26, 27 correct answers submitted. The team that won solved eight of our nine challenges, so that means one of them remains to Unsolved. be solved yep. uh, after con. Good luck. Um, all the puzzles are still available and will be avail available after the conference at uh, goldbug.cryptovillage.org, so, so keep up the hard work. Uh, team Goldbugs, if you're here, come on up. I, I can't see anything. Um, and uh, what was all really awesome about, yeah, there you go. And what was really awesome about Goldbugs is that they said that they tried to do the contest the first year and they said, I really want to win this contest. And this year they got to win it. So that's awesome to see them, to see them do that. <laughs> and um, if you like cryptography and puzzles, like, like, uh, like we just said, check us out on, check out the BBS that's still online, follow us on Twitter, and join the puzzle next year. Yeah. Thank Thanks. You. Tin foil hat. Yeah, so tin foil hat. Uh, people may have seen uh, various people walking around DEF CON uh, wearing uh, tin foil hats on their head. That's really the whole point of the contest is to get people <laughs> to be silly and you know build a tin foil hat. We do some uh, you know SDR testing to see actually how well they they do to like block the sig signal and attenuate it. Um, but you know the heart of it is seeing the really stupid, crazy tinfoil hats. Uh, this year's uh, winner actually, uh, she won it the first year, and the, she came back the uh, third year here and made a replica of the James Webb Space Telescope, and was walking around with that. Uh, the uh, second place winner uh, uh, for the the sal and substance uh, was a little girl. Uh, what was her name? It is Nova King. Uh, she actually didn't, uh, we weren't able to get her her prizes, so if uh, she sees this or is still around DEF CON, please contact me and then we'll get you a prize. So that's all I have. And let's get some of this selfie action here. Not the crowd, not the crowd. Not the crowd. Right. Get in here. Stick your Um, that is black badge. All right, wireless CTF. 
No. All right. Wait. So um, thanks, everybody. No, um, wait, we'll, wait, wait. What? Skin reverse. Sorry, oh, that's right. Sorry. Uh, you didn't send us your results, so we're judging you harshly. But come up and tell us about the schema verse. Melchick. Coin droids too. So as pointed out, I'm an idiot and didn't submit results, so thank you. We wanted to keep it a secret for the winner. Uh, schema verse is everyone's favorite space based battle game built inside a Postgres database. Not a lot of them, so. That's all it is. It <laughs> works out. Um, Basically our users don't sit there writing SQL all day long, instead they create bots that play the game on their behalf while they go and get shit faced. Um, and I think <laughs> the best example of that is SQL. the fact that the winner actually fucked up early game allowing one of our other very high, highly skilled players to get a very, very big advantage uh, while he was also off enjoying Shabakon. So he had no fucking idea what was going on but he was doing really, really good. Uh, but our winner did come from behind and Sysfix is the champion reigning again. Second year, third year in a row, either way, congratulations. Second place was Mr. Glass. Third place was Black Cat Hacker. Um, Skewinverse.com does run all year round. So if you do feel like writing way too much SQL, I invite you to come check it out. Uh, and the next contest is CoinDroids because we also didn't submit the results for that. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not coin droids, I'm command and control, but I also didn't submit it. Yeah, didn't submit it either. <laughs> What's going on around here? Turns out you gotta read those emails and yeah, just totally no failed. Shit. But um, so command and control is a hacking challenge for web and mobile. And uh, holy shit, this is super bright. I, like everybody comments on it but like I can't see anything. Um, so this year we had about 140 challenges to discover. Uh, we had over 200 teams and players play. And uh, but the top three teams were like absolutely head and shoulders over everybody else. Um, and in third place we had uh, a team, Bah Humbug, they play every year um, with uh, 32,500 points. Um, a, a repeat player, 8-bit Brandon got second place and Savage Submarine got first place this year. Uh, so nice work. Um, Savage Submarine uh, found about 90% of the overall vulnerabilities, so that's pretty huge. Um, and then next year we're going to be launching two totally new vulnerable sites, uh, all cloud based and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. Nice work, guys. Take your selfie. selfie. Take your yeah. selfie. Got yeah, you selfie. You got your phone? Yeah. Coin droids, you coming up here or not? Are you coming up here or not? You, got, you ignore the selfies. I thought we established this. Ignore them. They I, don't exist. I go my whole life ignoring selfies. Trust me, that's not a problem. Uh, so, coin droids. Um, this is our sixth year. Um, we are a blockchain-based battle game where robots throw coins at each other and kill each other. Um, so, we've had uh, double the amount of active users, daily active users, this year, which is like. 15. No, no, it's, it's like. Um, so our first place goes to Ball Hair. Um, <laughs> all right. You know, it's about time Ball Hair got I something. I got a chance, yeah. right? You know? Honestly, Ball Hair gets cut off. Yeah, way too constantly. Often. Never appreciate Let's bring, no, I don't want to bring Ball Hair on stage. <laughs> I like everyone else. Um, that's what he's saying. I'm saying ball hair doesn't get the recognition that, yeah. they, that it that deserves. It needs. Yeah. Including today. I'm not calling ball hair on Let's stage. Let's talk about your manscaping habits. Yes. <laughs> yeah, take uh, care of your Second place uh, was manscaping. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so ball hair won with uh, six, uh, 942 kills and won 76 DEF coin, which is worth absolutely nothing, so congratulations. <laughs> Um, second place was Death Machine with 413 kills and won 66.6 DEF coin, so Hail Satan, right? Um, altogether there were uh, 7,041 DEF coin transactions uh, related to coin droids. Uh, out of a total of 9,277 DEF coin transactions during the conference, 
um, which is 76% of all DEF coin transactions, which means there are 2,236 DEF coin transactions that are not related to coin droids, which means people are using it for some reason, which doesn't make any sense. So, whatever the fuck you're doing with it, congratulations. Well, um, we're going to tell you later, you're going to freak out. So, uh, Ball Hair, uh, besides having an awesome name, uh, is going to win a, uh, a ticket to a blockchain training conference that's happening in Denver plus a uh, human badge uh, for next year. So, and uh, Ball Tramp. So, congratulations. Um, and uh, Coindroids is available all year round at coindroids.com and you can actually play with uh, other coin that's not completely worthless. So that's it. And I'm not going to take a selfie because that's Don't it. Don't do it. That's it. Don't do it. Pure that's perfect. it. That's literally Thanks. it. That's the last one. That's line. it. Go. Is it 4 30? No, it's at 4 o'clock. It's at 4 o'clock. The did these Damn. slides is high. <laughs> It's all right. Sorry, four o'clock. Four o'clock. Go have a beer. One hour. <laughs>